Hello folks, uh, this uh, question belongs to, uh, belongs, let me write the code here, 9702, 02, it is 22FM20. Uh, so it belongs to 2020, February, March, paper 22. So this is the first time I am doing a paper 2 from 2020, February, February, March session. It says that a dolphin is swimming underwater at a constant speed of 4.50 meters per second. The dolphin emits a sound as it swims directly towards a stationary submerged diver. The frequency of the sound heard by the diver is 9560 hertz. So that means that uh, the frequency heard by the diver is F prime equal to 9560 hertz. The speed of sound in the water is 1510 meter per second. So velocity is equal to 1510 meter per second. And, uh, Velocity of source of sound is equal to, which is the dolphin, equal to 4.50 meter per second. So now what we need to find is the true frequency of the uh, sound produced by the dolphin. So the equation relating them will be F prime equal to F, then V by V minus Vs. Vs since uh, uh, in this condition, uh, the source is traveling towards the observer. So source source of sound is traveling towards the diver equation should be this so now this gives us so r f is equal to f prime v minus v s whole by this uh, uh, v equal to f prime is a 9560 v is 1510 minus 4.50 then 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 this is this v comes to be equal to 1510 so if I do the calculations, it will come out to be 1510 uh, minus 4.5 equal to uh, into 9560 divided 1510. So it comes to be 9531.51. So it is uh, equal to 9531.51 hertz. Now the question says, ask compulsorily to express it in 3SF. So it should be equal to, so 1, 2, 3, up to here. So it is 9, 5, 3. Others can be rounded off, so 0. So it should be 9, 5, 3, 0 hertz in 3SF. Then, the dolphin strikes the bottom of a floating ball so that the ball rises vertically upward from the surface of water. So the dolphin comes like this, comes like this, and strikes it which often does uh, the ball leaves the water surface with a surface 5.6 meter per second so for the motion of the ball it is this is it's equal to u assume that uh, the air resistance is negligible yes assumed calculate the maximum height uh, reached by the ball above the surface of water so that means that at the top of its motion v equal to zero this a equal to minus g equal to minus 9.8 meter per second square and this u is equal to uh, 5.6 meter per second and this s equal to h equal to what s means displacement here it's equal to height so that we don't know yet so the equation is equation is s equal to v square minus u square by twice a so v square equal to zero square minus 5.6 square divided 2 minus 9.8 so it should be equal to equal to uh, so this is minus so 5.6 whole square divided 2 into 9.8 so I don't use a minus in the calculations because this minus and this minus cancels so it is 1.6 meters so the, the, the dolphin will go, uh, the ball will rise by 1.6 meters. Now, next question. Now, number two. The ball leaves the water at time t equal to zero and reaches its maximum height at time small t equal to last t. On figure 2.2, sketch a graph to show the variation of the speed of the ball with time t from t equal to 0 to t equal to t value is not required. So it's, this is what happens here. The equation for the velocity is v equal to u minus g t. 
which will be equal to minus gt plus u. And this equation resembles y equal to mx plus c. Straight line equation with, uh, with uh, negative slope, negative slope, negative slope and positive intercept. So the uh, graph should be equal to somewhat like this. So you should come as a straight line from the top. So I do have a scale here around me today. So I'll use it and draw the line. So since we are not concerned with the values, uh, the velocity of speed can be anything in the beginning. So it should be a straight line like this, coming up to t. So this value is, so this value is equal to u, intercept. Now, number three, the mass of the ball is 0 0.45 kgs. kgs. Use your answer in B1. B1 means uh, this value, this uh, 1.6 meter value. Uh, to calculate to change in gravitational potential energy of the ball as it rises from the surface of the water to the maximum height. So, the change of the potential energy is delta in GPE is equal to mgh minus 0, final minus initial, that's equal to 0 0.45 minus, uh, sorry, into 9.8 into 1.6 minus 0. And that's equal to, it will give us so the value will be equal to uh, 0 0.45 into 9.8 uh, into 1.6. So the value, the value becomes 7.056, 7.056 joules. So let's write just in 3SF because we expressed one uh, in 3SF uh, in the beginning also. So equal to 7.06 joules. So 7.06 joules. Now, 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 last one. Still explain the variation in the magnitude of the acceleration, magnitude of the ball, as it falls back uh, towards the surface of water if a resistance is not negligible. So, after climbing to the top, it falls. So, we have to, we have to deal with the acceleration after this. So, initially, the velocity was zero, zero. Then, V starts to increase. So, to increase. So, what happens is, when V starts to increase, then we have that uh, the opposing forces also start to increase. So the relation for the, uh, for the uh, first let us go for the relation for resultant force when a resistance is not negligible. So the resultant force is equal to, is equal to force of gravity minus force opposing, force opposing when uh, a resistance is not negligible. So when this is significant. So that means, that means what happens here is, as it falls down, as it falls down, uh, as it uh, falls down, falls, uh, V increases, V increases. So V increase means that uh, this F opposition also increases, increases, increases. It's because F opposition depends on velocity, depends on velocity. Maybe it is a uh, uh, single power, double power, uh, treble power, but it does increase on the velocity. So you have to increase. So that means that F resultant decreases. F resultant decreases. So this must cause what happens is so therefore the acceleration is equal to F resultant by mass. So this also should decrease. So A resultant also decreases. So I have a long lecture regarding the variation of acceleration when something falls um, something falls through a through a medium where A resistance is not negligible. So the value of A here decreases. But let us remember that decrease of A does not mean decrease of V. Does not mean decrease of V. It means that V still increases but at a reduced rate. So as it falls here, A goes on decreasing till it becomes zero. And V increases, yes, increases. But uh, the rate goes on decreasing until what happens is V becomes constant. So constant means that the rate of increase now is zero. So it is ultimately reaching the terminal velocity. So this completes the solution to this question.